School is back in session for most of New Mexico, and in this age of technology and social media, the FBI wants to remind students not to post hoax threats. So joining us this morning is Special Agent in Charge, Raul Buhanda. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having us. So let's talk about this message. Pretty simple. It's not a joke. Think before you post. Exactly. It's a federal crime. I think a lot of people don't kind of remember that it is a federal crime yeah. to make a threat against a person or, you know, especially since we're talking about schools or against the school. Yeah. Um, what is the impact of this? So the impact is one of the things, we have to take everything seriously, right? Because right. I don't know if Danielle's putting something because she wants to tell us about how her day's going, her latest dance moves, or anything else like that. We have to take it seriously, especially yeah. if someone yeah. says, I'm going to go harm someone. Yeah. We have to take it literal. We have to go and warn that person, and we also got to make sure that we're finding the person that posted so that we can stop the threat. So a lot of resources wasted. Is what Most you're definitely. Yeah. And in two different fronts, right? We're going after the individual and at the same time we're warning the other person that was threatened. Why do people share this stuff or, or post this stuff? So, you know, I think we live in a world where we're, a lot of people just like to vent mm -hmm. uh, on social media. Yeah. Name your, in, name your site. And they like to say all these different things. At the same time, what they're doing is when they're angry, they're posting these different things and they're voice, voicing what it is that they want to do against someone. And But we have to take it seriously because we don't know these individuals. We don't know if they're joking. We don't know if this is just a hoax or if it's something that they actually want to cause harm. How common of a problem is this for you guys? You know, it's one of those things that it all kind of goes in waves, right? Right now we're talking about school being back in session, yeah, right? During right. the summer, we probably didn't see a whole lot of these. But, you know, every time that something starts uh, opening up again, such as schools, you have a tendency of seeing more of these things happening. So if someone sees something like this online, what do you recommend they do? Well, the first thing is they, if they think it's something serious and it's happening right now, they got to call 911, right? Mm -hmm. That's always going to be the go-to. And then they can call us, reach out to us at tips.fbi.gov or 1-800-CALL-FBI, and we will follow up. We'll find the individuals. It's real easy to find these individuals that post these things. And we're also going to warn those that have been threatened. And at the same time, we're going to come down to find out if there's consequences that need to be dealt on the individual that posted the hoax threat. And, and even if you share this, this is really dangerous. Most definitely, right? Because we have to take it as something very serious. So we yeah. go into a setting where if someone said, I'm going to cause harm, or they posted a picture of a gun, well, we got to go with that mindset that we might be dealing with someone that has a weapon that wants to cause harm against someone or something. Special agent in charge, Raul Buhanda, thank you for coming on to oh, give us the info. Yeah, we'll put this information on our website. Remember, it is a federal crime.